Hi everyone, this is one of my first videos. Please be nice. I hope this can help you out. I needed a battery charger. I found it off Craigslist, picked it up, didn't test it out, my fault, got it home. I test it and I find it's only giving, I test it with my voltmeter here and I find out that I am only getting, there we go, 9.29 volts. Garbage. Now, I can throw it away, but that's not me kind of know enough about this stuff I can figure this out so I took it apart and I'm going to show you what I see in here and what I know about it so maybe you can understand what's all happening in general you have your AC power that comes in here your 120 one side of that 120 hooks up over on your high side of your transformer the other side goes down to your selector switch that's for your 2 amp your 10 amp 50 amp that's just to choose which coil wire it goes onto on your high side of your transformer, on your primary. Out of it comes your secondary. Now on your secondary, you have one lead, which is one of your main leads right here, which just comes through and comes back down. And either way, that becomes your negative on your battery piece. Your second, the other two leads are right here. They are actually basically, they're two different coils they're both kicking out voltage, but it's AC voltage. So if I took, take that and switch over to AC and I test it right now, I got 12.7 and then on, I test the other one, I got another 12.7 and that's these two leads right here. So my transformer is working. I'm getting the power out of it that I need. But when I have a DC power test, and again, I test it right over here, See if I can get another connection here. There we go. I only got 9.3. So what's happening? Why do I get 12 volts out of here, but it's not passing through? Well, let me look at this plate here. This plate isn't is, is, is actually connectivity. It's just not a heat plate. And I test that on DC, I'm getting 11 volts. What happens here? is these power lines, AC, come through that black little piece. That black piece isn't just a piece of plastic. That's two diodes. That's what's changing your AC power into your DC power. You think that might be a problem. It's really not the problem. Your problem is actually this board. Now, let me see if I can show you what's kind of happening with this board a little bit. These wires over here they're just controls. They don't do anything. They're not worth, it's not the main piece. You have one power wire. That's this black wire right here. Now I'm going to try something. I'm going to show you something. First, I'm going to again test on the DC power and show you I'm getting 9.3 volts. But if I take that black wire and follow it down, it's going to be off this little piece right here. That little white guy. Now I'm going to unplug it right there. Okay, I plug that wire off there. Believe me, it's not gonna come off so easy when you unplug it. You, you take a screwdriver, pry it. I've just had it off a few times, so I just barely had it on there. But I unplugged it, and now I'm gonna come right back over here again. And now I'm gonna get a test. Look at that, 12.12 .12 volts. The problem is that board. It's, it's a little smart board. I mean, most of us buy these type of power, ch these chargers, because you wanna be able to get 10 amps, 50 amps, to be able to start your car and you don't want this electronic fancy stuff to try and say oh you can't charge you can't do this when you get your car started you know what you want your 50 amps just stop being stupid and do it well that board is trying to be smart that's their idea of it well that smart board right there isn't being so smart right now and it's causing your problems why you're only getting your nine some volts instead of 12. so if you unplug it you stop the board's ability to mess it up for you. And now you've really simplified this, this whole battery charger. You got your AC power 120 coming in. You got your selector switch to choose which set of coils you want on the high side of your transformer, which will t choose your 2 amp, 10 amp, 50 amp. It's gonna come through, AC power coming out here on your, power, on your lines. It's gonna go through your, your diodes to change it into DC power and out it's gonna come out the other side and you took out all the smart stuff, that little tiny board. And it's not really that smart, it's kind of simple and basic. Either way, it'll fix it. 
you'll get things moving. So when you only see those nine volts, just unplug the wire. Now, yeah, it's not gold standard. I wouldn't condone to say, let's just put it on two amps. I'm gonna plug it into my battery and let it trickle charge overnight, whatever, and come back. It's just gonna know when to shut off. Not a good idea. But when you need to get your car started because your battery is basically dead, and you don't have time to let it sit there and trickle charge all day long on two amps, and you need a 10 amp or a 50 amp to start your vehicle, this will do its job. Unplug the wire, and it's going to work. Now, when you test your voltage on your 10 amp and your 50 amp, you're not going to get 12 volts. You're going to get, you might even get up to, on your 50 amp, you'll probably get like 16 volts. On your 10 amp, you'll probably get like 13 to 14 volts. That's normal. It's the way it works when you charge these cars and I got that many amps. Either way, I hope this guy's help this this kind of helps you out on how to try and get around some of this. These things aren't exactly junk to throw away when all of a sudden it's not working. Just simply unplug that little black wire that goes to that board. As soon as you do that, test your power and find out again if suddenly you're getting your 12 volts. I'm gonna show you. When you plug that in, there you go, plugged in, I'm going to retest right there, 9.3. All it is, that little thing is causing some sort of issue. Now I could probably go through and figure out how to fix the board. I don't care. I don't need to. It's just a smart little thing and I don't need it that so smart. Now when you do that, What's gonna, your little light down there on the full charge, that's not gonna work. But we'll, what will work is the needle. When you take that, this hook it up onto a battery, which I've done over here before, and you hook those, um, your clamps up onto it, your needle will move. It will help show you where it's at. So it's not totally useless. Um, so the needle works, the light over here won't work, this switch here won't work anymore either, won't mean anything, but so what? You got your 10 amps, you got your 50 amps. And you can still kick out two amps if you want it, if you need it. I hope this kind of helps as a kind of workaround to get through some of these things and hope to save you some money. You don't need to go buy, spend 70 bucks or 60 bucks for a whole new one of these things. You can take one, you can salvage it, you can still fix it. Good luck, hope it helps. Again, so my first videos, be nice. Don't sit there and criticize me about everything. It's just about maybe this is wrong or that's wrong. You know, I'm trying. Good luck everybody, bye. I want to make one more addition before I leave. One of the reasons why this board gets messed up is because when they build this battery charger, the wire that they use for your clamps, this wire right here, yeah, it looks good on the outside. It's too fine. They, they don't have heavy enough wire in there. That's your problem. Die hard, thank you very much. You could have built a better charger, could have put a little better, heavier wire in there instead of spent the money for installation to make it look thicker. It's garbage wire. So when you sit there and have a heavy draw in there for an extended period of time, it creates a real heavy draw back through the system. I'm going to guess most likely that's what's really messing up this board here. Um, after you do all these changes, like I just suggest about unplugging the wire, and it'll get rid of it. Don't just unplug it, leave it dangling out there. It'll arc. Don't just cut it off down here. Um, you could still run into some problems. You know, if you're trying to sit there on 10 amps charging something for a while, it's going to probably most likely you're going to feel warmth in the wires. It heats up because of a high amp draw because it's too fine of a wire. Um, you could put heavier wire through it. I'd suggest it. That'd be a good idea. Um, or, I mean, it's not like you use this thing every day anyway. So it'll probably work fine. But I just want to explain one of the biggest problems where it's coming from is because the wire inside here is it's just it's not heavy enough gauge. If they would have put heavier gauge wire, you probably wouldn't have had that problem. Thank you very much. Good luck.